To reset the Wi-Fi on your Jellyfish Lighting controller or connect it to a new router, we first need to reset the Wi-Fi on the controller. To do this, press and release the menu button just to wake up the screen. When the screen lights up, hold the menu button on the face of the controller for 10 seconds. There's one menu that shows up first, but you need to continue holding until a second menu shows up. Once you see service menu, press OK. It will say clear Wi-Fi and press OK again, and then it will say clearing. This will take a couple minutes. A few moments later. If the asterisk on the top right of the controller screen is gone and you see an exclamation point C, this means the Wi-Fi has been reset. If you didn't see the exclamation point C, you have to repeat those steps. Once the controller's Wi-Fi is reset, you now have to reconnect the Wi-Fi using the Jellyfish Cloud app. So go to the Jellyfish Cloud app and make sure you're logged in. Once the app opens, you'll see a settings tab on the bottom right of the app. Five options down, you see controller Wi-Fi. Press controller Wi-Fi and read these steps. So this is saying we need to connect to the controller's Wi-Fi directly. So to do this, go to your phone's settings and go to your Wi-Fi settings. Scroll through the networks and find the Jellyfish networks. So if you have multiple controllers, if it says Jellyfish-C, then that controller is connected. The ones that don't say C are not connected. If you need, if you have many controllers and you need to know which one is the right controller, take off the face of the controller and look on the silver power supply and the last four digits of that number there are these last four digits. So press the controller you want to connect to and type in the password bigfish10 all lowercase and press join. Once connected, go back to the Jellyfish Lighting app and press next. It's going to search for the Wi-Fi networks in the area. Select your Wi-Fi, press next, and type your password and press next. This will take a few moments, but it will connect your controller to your Wi-Fi. When the Wi-Fi is successfully paired, it will return back to the settings page. And if you press the patterns page, you should be able to see all your patterns and be able to turn on your lights.